Today there is a fashion show at our school. I have a lot of cool clothes, even better than Britney's. I have one purse worth more than this school. I'll definitely outshine everyone. Well, have you got your clothes? Don't worry, honey. I'll be the best as always. In your dreams. Damn, my personal driver is waiting for me. There's a suitcase with heels left. What? Damn, right. You don't know what a personal driver is. I'm not surprised. Well, that was the final straw. She thinks she's the smartest and leaves her suitcase besides me? Does she think nothing will happen to her clothes? Does she really call this expensive? Let's make them a little better now. My favorite pink paint. My favorite pink color. And she's going to have some pink things. Looks beautiful. Are you nuts? What? Unpleasant, right? By the way, about the show, there will be nothing. It was my idea for you to bring all of your clothes here. I've never worn these clothes. And you never will. Brittany, you don't even know what I'm capable of. <laughs> what did Martin see in you? How can he be with such a hysterical as you? Actually, we're not together anymore. That's great. Wait, that is... how... not together? <laughs> so Martin is free now? <laughs> this is great news! My baby G-Shock said it's time, all my thoughts linked up, multiply, no divide. Never miss, it's a crime, but my karma stays lit, just sit by my side. Put the work in, practice and learn, and the only truth when I spit, write the fucking sermon. Even shoot on my flicks, let it like a surgeon, said he been rehearsing. I even like the poem. Hey guys, right now you can see my bro. Now he is independent, now he's a bachelor. Tyler, no one is interested. Come on, you interrupted me at the most interesting. I just wanted to say that you make up today. No. Why? You're like Chloe and I. We quarrel and make up, we quarrel and make up, we quarrel and make up. Enough. This time it's all over. Yeah. Just like I told Brittany I wouldn't steal her cookies. But they kept disappearing all week. No, this time it's serious. I realized that I didn't appreciate myself and literally ran after her, trying for her sake. But she doesn't even value it at all. Brittany will never change. Do you know what's the worst? The worst thing is you kill yourself for a girl who will always disappoint you. Martin, great people quotes. Yeah, I'm so great that I can't even find the money. Come on, bro. Why do you need cash if you broke up with Brittany anyway? That's the point. You know it used to all be about Brittany when I was chasing after her. But I have my own life. I want to live for myself. I have my ambitions, my plans, my goals. I want to enter the best university. I want to get a sports scholarship. There will be a girl next to me who will appreciate me. <laughs> Are you crying? Me? Of course no. Brittany never cries. Listen, Tyler told me that Martin broke up with me. Who, Martin broke up with me? Well, actually, it was me who asked him. I see. In general, he is stupid, poor. Handsome. Handsome. Um, I mean dumb. Listen, but I can't see that you have feelings for him. It means you can't see well. Maybe you need glasses like Emma. Why are you mad? Chloe, are you okay with Tyler? Of course we're not you and Martin. There is no us anymore! I'm sorry, but Tyler and I are fine. We're really tired of quarrels and manipulation. I wouldn't smile like that if I were you. But why? Because Mary is still at school. The snake wants us all to quarrel. What if she's still Tyler too? What the heck? Think before you speak! Tyler loves me. He won't fall for that herring. Guys, are you also afraid of Mary? I don't think she can be trusted. And you? Write in the comments. 
Good afternoon, Mrs. Cooper. Did you call me? Yes, Mary. I called you. Why didn't you say anything? It's just, you know, Martin is my... Your parents called me and said that you finally made friends with everyone. Oh, you're about this. Of course. Is there anything else? Yeah, we are really good friends. I can't go a day without them. But there's a problem. Still, I live separately from them. I understand. I think that you can stay on campus tonight. But how? All the beds in the girls' room seem to be taken. I'll make arrangement with Brittany's parents to take her away for one night. And you'll stay in her place. Moreover, she said that she hated our school dormitory. Damn. Thank you, Mrs. Cooper. You're the best headmistress. My pleasure. Run and tell guys. Okay. I gotta go. I love such students. Sincere and kind. We immediately got air conditioners at school. And the bonuses for the director became larger. Great school. <laughs> Maybe enough is enough. What's wrong? Just because Martin dumped you doesn't mean you can yell at us. Yeah. Ew, you piss me off. Get out of my way! Who's stopping you? Martin, it was unexpected. You dumped Brittany herself. Stop it. I just realized I don't love Brittany anymore. Excuse me. Although no, Martin, go on. What about Brittany? Doesn't matter. I'm going to drink tea outside. By the way, guys, I have some awesome news for you. Are, Are you, you expelled? expelled? No, no way. Tonight I'll be sleeping on campus. Mrs. Cooper said so. Yeah, you'll sleep next to the toilet. No, I'll sleep in Brittany's bed and she'll go to her parents. Does Brittany know? If Mary's still alive, then no. Don't worry, it'll be the best night of your life. Something is about to happen. So, how did Martin teach me? Left, one, two, right. <laughs> Emma's so funny with glasses and boxing gloves. <laughs> Yeah, after all, a real beast lives in this nerd. No, even faster! Emma! Oh stupid! Who boxes like that without a warm-up? Emma! Emma! Are you okay? Emma! Emma! Answer, Emma! Martin? Oh god, Emma, you're alive! Of course I am. What are you doing? I'm saving you, dummy. Get up! Oh, something is wrong with me. So, let's go... You need to drink some water and eat now. No, I'm fine, I'm fine. Sure. Uh, so, all right, Emma. Hold on to me. Carefully. Let's go. I don't want to lose us the smartest girl on the planet. I'm not giving that chick in my bed for anything! Dad, why? <laughs> what does one day mean? You don't understand what she can do in one day. Damn it! Let her just try to catch my eye. Wow, you are so friendly. Yeah, we're besties. That's it, Brittany. Enough of these friendly hugs. Good. Look, Mary, this is where you'll spend tonight. Look, this is your bed. How cool is this? This is my pillow. Give it back. Wow, is that perfume? Give it back. Otherwise... Hem. Otherwise, I'll give them to you. Do you want? Of course I do. Thanks, Brittany. How disgusting. Mary, I'm so glad that you came to us. Brittany even became kinder. Uh-huh. Okay, Brittany, let's go. Mary, sit here as you please. And you, Brittany, will finally spend the night in the hotel, as you dreamed of. Brittany, won't you even take your clothes? Dad will buy me everything new. What if it happens that someone accidentally cuts your clothes with scissors? 
Of course, it's a joke. I'm gonna. Brittany, Mary is just kidding. She's just mm -hmm. kidding. Yes. Come on, Brittany. Mary, you stay. And if your dad asks, uh huh, then say that it was Miss Cooper who offered you. Say it was my idea. Good? Mm hmm. Yes. Don't forget to mention Miss Cooper. Okay, Mary. Of course, yes. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Done. The main competitor is neutralized. Only me remained. Let the game begin. Let's be careful. Take a few more sips. But I can't. Do you know that it's useful for a person to drink at least one and a half liters of water a day? Yeah, Emma. This is very interesting, but for now, a couple of sips will be enough. You know, thank you, Martin. If not for you, then I would be lying there and no one would have found and noticed me as then in class. That's right, and then I'd have to give you CPR. What? Would you kiss me? Well, it would be more correct to say that I would save you. Say it to Brittany, because I don't need problems. Actually, Brittany and I are no longer a couple. Uh, another quarrel? What the heck? What quarrel? Stop associating me with her. We are two separate people. We've got nothing in common. But... you loved her. Apparently I was wrong. I just don't really know. Martin, I'm so sorry. You must be feeling really bad. Everything will be fine. A new life ahead without Brittany. Maybe I'll answer. No, I don't want to answer the past. Tell me, how do you feel? Yeah, thanks. I'll read a couple of books, and then I'll feel better. <laughs> By the way, I want to ask for your help. Now I want to win all sports competitions for our school, for the sports scholarship. Wow! This is very cool, Martin! You're great! I'm so glad! Thanks! You know, I'll be very happy if our school takes first place. And for you, of course, I'll be happy. Let's go to class. I'll tell you everything. Let's go. Damn it! Martin doesn't answer! No one answers! Nobody even came to say goodbye to me! Brittany, it's only one night. You'll see everyone tomorrow. But I somehow got used to Emma. How she always reads as a couple of interesting facts at night. To Chloe, who comes back from the parties in the morning. Parties at school? Oh, no, no! Chloe's the first to go to bed. I arrive at 7pm and she's already asleep. Well, see you tomorrow, Brittany. See you. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, I'll go. Bye, Brittany. See you tomorrow. Bye. Phew. Uh, what if I sleep in the hallway? No, no, bye. That's horrible. At first you can't force them to study, and now you can't force them to leave. Well... This is where I'm gonna live, so far for one night. But this is only the beginning. You know me. Okay, bye. So what? You moved in? Yeah. Damn, it's a pity that Brittany didn't say goodbye to us. Before leaving, she said that she was happy to live one night without these rats. Wait, did she call us rats? To be honest, I'm shocked too. Oh right, I completely forgot. I have to go to class. Bye. I'm going to. I'll just take a notebook. Damn, where is it? What's this? Mary, year 2021. <laughs> Another bad year in Mary's life. to me all the time and Maria wasn't just with Martin and what does it mean
And that's why I need you to draw up a correct training schedule, taking into account the competition. No problem. It's elementary. Hello, Martin. Emma, won't that be difficult for you? Of course not. I have some free time. I thought such a smart girl would have no free time. Emma, they were looking for you in the library. For what? Don't know. Give away old books or borrow new ones. Of course. I'm running. What, Martin? Do you notice me now? Mary, what do you want? Don't be mad. I just want to be friends. I know your friendship. By the way, do you know Brittany isn't sleeping on campus tonight? What happened? Though, I don't care. I also wouldn't care about the person who talks like that about your relationship. I know you're lying. You don't have to believe me. You can't hurt me. They were so happy together. Were. The past is always in the past. Hi everyone. Hello Chloe. Hello darling. Well, finally, I thought to bounce if you didn't come. Hey, why are you silent? Is everything okay? Yes, everything is great. The main thing is that we're together. Of course, we're together. Let's have a K-E-O-B. What's this? To know each other better. <sighs> yeah, how did I not think of it right away? Mary? No one called me to the oh, library. Maybe it was Mrs. Cooper's names. I'm new. Still confusing names. It would be better if you confused the way to school. Martin, what do you do in the evenings? Nerdy, phones ruin your eyesight. Actually, I use the right distance, favorable phone angle, and no more than 30 minutes a day. So I don't agree with your wording that phones ruin eyesight. What do you do in those 30 minutes? Actually, I always read the comments of our subscribers. For example, have you seen that they write that Emma and Mary could be besties? Really? Of course not. No one will ever be friends with you. You know what, Emma? You can no longer read comments. Why? Because. Hey, you! Did you do that? No, of course not me. Or am I? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get to know each other better. I'm all yours. Answer me one question. Have you ever lied to me? Forgive me, but yes. How dare you? I'm sorry, when you said you didn't want sausage, I said Martin ate it, but it was really me. Please forgive me. So you were about sausage? Well, yeah. Now my question is... Did you ever want to break up with me f for real? Damn, guys, no way. What's, What's wrong? wrong? I brought here a sign that is painted here. Did you do it on purpose? No, I really did it by accident. Maybe not really on purpose. It's okay, we'll wash it. Why are you defending her? Guys, don't fight. I heard you tell each other something new. Well, yeah. Maybe you have something to tell us? For example, I am very afraid of closed spaces. Wow, how long has this been? Since childhood. Okay, guys, I won't bother you. I'll go. Brittany paint came in handy. Martin, I need to come in. Mary, wait. It's urgent. What happened? I'm sleeping with you tonight. I need to leave my towel.
know how to date Tyler. Think about your behavior. Is anyone there? Open the door! Hello? Someone closed me in on purpose. Who needs it? It's a hundred percent Chloe. I told her that I was afraid of closed spaces. She made it. Hush, hush, calm down. Everything is fine. Moreover, I ended up here. You're not alone. It's good that we're in here together. Remember when we got stuck in the elevator? I remember. We were there for three hours. <laughs> I remember those times. Remember when we each gave each other the same gifts for our anniversary? We thought we had one brain for two. <laughs> yeah, good old days. Mary, I'm so glad we're together. I can't live without you. Will you kiss me? Thanks for watching guys! Like, subscribe to our channel. If you want to be the first to see our next video, write in the comments what did Martin drink in the kitchen. Bye everyone! In the next episode... Are you sure everybody needs to know this? Yeah, we have nothing to hide. She's the first girl to last that long with me. I decided to propose to her. If no one minds. Mary is now our new head girl. Mary, what are you doing here? I, as the head girl, must be present at all these important events.